Zolka, Ivy Masters Learning Center and ivymasters.com. And today we're going to look at the 20th question from the Digital SAT. Test 1, Module 1 is from the Blue Book app. Number 20 reads, which choice completes the text that conforms to the conventions of standard English? When you look at the answer choices, you see that there are pronouns. What do pronouns do? They replace nouns. What's the name of the noun that the pronoun replaces? It's called the antecedent. So you want to find that noun the pronoun replaces, the antecedent, and you want to read the antecedent in place of the underline to make sure that you have the correct antecedent. It should have the same meaning as um, it's intended, and that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to read the paragraph. The violin's handmade in the 17th century by Italian craftsman Antonio Stradivari have been celebrated as some of the finest in the world. In close collaboration with musicians, Stradivari introduced changes to the shape of the traditional violin, flattening some of the instrument's curve and making blank light overall. So what would fit the blank? What's the antecedent that would fit the blank? It seems to me like it would be what would be made lighter overall? The violin. Notice it does not say violins, it says violin. So I'm going to read with violin in place of the underline. In close collaboration with musicians, Stradivari introduced changes to the shape of the, vi the traditional violin, flattening some of the instrument's curves and making the violin lighter overall. It makes sense to say the violin in, in place. And when you're identifying the, pr the pronoun and the antecedent, you got to make sure they're both singular, both plural. Those is plural. Gone. Them is plural. Gone. And would you say flattening some of the instrument's curves and making one lighter overall? Um, no, it would be making it lighter overall. That fits in place. One probably um, does not sound right to you in place. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with pronoun antecedent agreement. If there's any question you'd like to answer from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out our one-minute video on TikTok. Have a great day.